Hi everyone, I'm Travis Guillory from Two Works For You and here's your latest digital update. It's a big day when it comes to reopening Oklahoma. Starting today, restaurant dining rooms, movie theaters, sporting venues, gyms, and places of worship are all allowed to reopen, but strict social distancing and sanitation guidelines will be enforced. If coronavirus rates remain manageable for 14 days, Governor Stitz says that we're then going to move into phase two of his reopening plan, which includes reopening bars and allowing weddings and funerals to happen again. Meanwhile, Governor Stitt also says that the elderly and the vulnerable should continue to follow the safer at home guidelines for all of phase one and phase two. And Tulsa's safer at home order expired overnight, paving the way for restaurants, personal care businesses, and many others to reopen. City owned sporting areas like tennis courts, golf courses, and soccer fields will also reopen, as will dog parks. But city officials tell us that playgrounds, recreation centers, pools, splash pads, and day camps will remain closed until further notice. All events and gatherings with 10 or more people are also banned until at least May 15th, whenever city leaders are going to decide if it's safe to then move into phase two of reopening. And Woodland Hills Mall is reopening today with some restrictions, of course. Mall owner Simon posted online that there are going to be some occupancy limits, closure of high interaction areas, and of course, social distancing as well. Shoppers are also encouraged to take their temperature before visiting the mall. And the governor wants to increase COVID-19 testing in our state. The state health department is working with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma to use its nine caring vans as mobile testing sites. Those vans will mostly be used in underserved communities. And the state is also hoping to get 90,000 tests done by the end of May. That's your latest digital update from Two Works For You. I'm Travis Guillory.